contracts and clauses part three. So the third very typical clause that we see in a contract is the subject to review and approval of the property disclosure statement. So the PDS is a document that the seller fills out um, where they have to disclose everything that they know about the home to the best of their knowledge um, and provide it to the buyer. All kinds of disclosures are made in that document. Sellers, be very careful. You need to fill it out very accurately. Um, there is liability involved with filling out this document, so um, be very careful and consistent with your answers. And buyers, it does not get you off the hook from doing your own due diligence when you review that document. So personally, if I have the PDS when I'm writing an offer, if I can get it prior to writing the offer, I will review it with my buyer, we will, or the buyer will sign off on it, we will incorporate it and attach it to a contract. If I cannot get the PDS prior to writing the offer, it becomes a clause. Um, as a listing agent, when I'm receiving offers, um, I will always have the PDS available because I get it signed at the time of the listing and I make it available to every buyer and their realtor. Um, I prefer to see the PDS attached and incorporated into contracts that I receive because that is then fewer clauses in the contract for my seller. So it's preferable for a seller to have fewer subjects in an offer. Um, it's preferable for buyers to have fewer con clauses in a contract if they are in multiple offers. But otherwise, if we need time to review the PDS or do some checks on it, um, or it's not available, then absolutely we make it a clause in a contract. So subject to or the clause to review and approve the PDS is a very, very typical clause that you will see in a contract.